Hi everybody, my name is Eduardo Ventura and I just purchased a um, Skywatcher Explorer 150 PDS, the HEQ5 Pro uh, Sense Scan, and this is going to be the unboxing of those packages. Now, uh, the main reason I'm doing this is to be able to give people a lot more information than what it's actually out there right now. So when I was uh, considering to buy this telescope and this mount, um, I found that there wasn't too, med too much uh, videos like these, or as many videos like these as I wanted it to have. So I ended up watching a, um, an Italian unboxing. Oh, by the way, if you hear crying, it's my son uh, <laughs> who is having a bath. Um, but I ended up watching an Italian video and a French video and there wasn't too much information on this. So that's also the, the reason why I'm doing this in English, is that more people can benefit from this. So, having said that, um, I recently bought a uh, Skywatcher 150 PDS. DS means uh, dual speed. Uh, and it's basically more appropriate to photography, to astrophotography, because um, you can achieve critical focus more easily. That means that with 11 turns of the smaller knob, the focus knob, you get one turn of the main focus knob. So you have smaller increments that you can um, uh, use to achieve critical focus. Now, I'm a semi-professional photographer. Uh, from Portugal, um, but I also love astronomy and astrophotography. Now, what I have currently is a um, Skywatcher travel mount, the Star Adventurer, which I use with my DSLR and a telephoto lens, and it, it actually got me these photos. Not too bad, but I wanted a bit more, so I bought this and the mount, and I'm hoping that the mount is actually going to be um, a mount that I'm going to be able to use for a long time in my life, in my astronomy life. So, without further ado, let me bring in the, um, the packages. So the first package I got is actually a mains power supply cable. It's a transformer uh, to power up the, uh, the mount, the HEQ5. Um, let's get this thing open. I bought, uh, I bought all of this uh, gear from First Light Optics. Uh, I found it to be a really good uh, shop really good store, lots of equipment, lots of knowledgeable people, uh, sensible people, people who aren't afraid to talk and to explain how stuff works. Uh, that was really a plus. Okay, so let's see what this is. Now, the main power supply I bought is from Bader. See if it, if you can see it here. From Bader. Hmm, funny. Um, since I'm in Portugal, I asked for the um, Euro plug, Euro wall plug. Uh, this says it's the UK plug, which I wasn't really expecting. It's kind of a nuisance. Yeah, it's the it's the UK wall plug. Um, I'm sure the good people at First Light Optics will sort this out. I didn't want the uh, UK plug. I told them I didn't want the UK plug. Uh, funny enough, the instructions say that it's with Euro plug. But I'll sort it out and uh, we'll find something out.
So yeah, so this is it. What we have here, the um, the cable, the, the plug itself, which connects to the uh, transformer. Okay, and then connects to the the mount. Now, this has the uh, special connector, the elbow connector, which you can connect uh, the mount to. Okay, so the next thing we'll be opening is the tripod. Uh, the box came out a bit battered. Um, so hopefully nothing is damaged inside, but we'll see. Okay, so first layer is out. Uh, we have a big box here, which I'm guessing it's the uh, tripod legs, and two smaller boxes. These are really heavy, and these contain counterweights. Yeah, this is the uh, counterweight, one counterweight. this out of the way and this is the other counterweight seen in perfect shape <coughs> now for the main box like it was um, predicted. These are the tripod legs. Now the tripod legs come with this um, this tray. This is actually going to stabilize the legs when we screw this onto. So these little horns are going to be sticking out underneath the uh, legs and are going to make lots of strength so that they don't um, Close or anything. Wow, these are big. Wow, oh, these, are big. These, these are huge. So inside here, we have the screw which sets that uh, little tray right here, and we have the tripod legs themselves. I can just take this out. Well, wow, these are big. Wow, it's really sturdy. Okay, here we go. This is it. Uh, and that's the first package. Okay, so tripod's done. Tripod, counterweight, um, accessory tray, and the power supply unit. Um, this is most definitely the mount itself and a few accessories. So let's get cracking. So instructions. Instruction manual, HEQ5, EQ6 mount. Um, it has, it seems to be catalog of the equipment they have. And and this, okay. This is the instruction manual of the SynScan console. And this is the instruction manual of the HEQ5 or EQ6. This case, in this case, it's the HEQ5 with two types of um, 
in several languages. Two types of telescopes, refractors, refractors and reflectors. Now, I strongly recommend that anyone who starts this out uh, reads uh, fully the manual at least one or two times. Let's see what this is. Comes with a smaller instruction manual. Oh, it's uh, it's the uh, bracket to hold the SinScan um, console. You put this, you tie this around a leg, and you place the console here. Quite handy, actually. I didn't know if I mentioned this earlier, but I bought the. Um, the HEQ5 Pro Sin Scan. I don't know if the if the HEQ5 has any other versions. And here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The magic. Wow. So this is the hand controller, the SinScan hand controller, hmm, it's quite light, um, with all the uh, buttons and functions and whatnot. It comes with a great array of cables, which you'll need to connect the controller to so this is to connect the controller to the mount. This is uh, to connect the mount or the controller to the computer, I guess. And this is the uh, cigarette lighter to power the, um, the, the mount. Okay. This is the dovetail bar to put the telescope and then <clears throat> connect it to the mount. These are the screws, the bolts that uh, are used to do adjustments, azimuth adjustments and other adjustments. And this is the mount, which is quite heavy, <laughs> quite, quite heavy. That seems in top shape. You see here the HEQ5 Pro has all the uh, power connections here. Power connection, the hand controller and the auto guider, which I'll think of buying somewhere along the way. This comes with a polar scope. Here. It's a bit plasticky. Not too fun of that. Um, yeah, that's it. The mount. Finally, we've got our scope. It's a um, Skywatcher Explorer 150 PDS. P stands for parabolic mirror, so it's a reflector. DS stands for dual speed, and I talked to about earlier, but it, it has to do with the focuser having two speeds, two adjustment speeds, two focusing speeds. The DS version also has the primary mirror a little closer to the secondary mirror. This allows uh, when you, this is better for astrophotography because um, you have a bit more space between the focuser and 
not an eyepiece but the, uh, the camera itself and it sometimes it's harder to achieve focus so bringing the primary mirror a bit closer will actually produce a sharper image a bit further away on the, the imaging tray so it's actually better now one thing is cool about all Skywatcher all or, or most of the uh, Skywatcher products is that they are doubly packed uh, and uh, this outer package this outer box protects protects the inner box from um, damages so they are actually quite sturdy in that um, aspect we have another catalog which is basically the same as we had in the HEQ5 we have a box let's check it out I don't know which way is up seems like this or not Inside we have smaller boxes. Well, this is an eyepiece, 28 millimeters, multi coated. Oh, it's actually a two inch eyepiece. Nice. But it probably just has one. So nice, it came with a, 20, a 28 millimeter eyepiece, two inch barrel. I thought it would be having two one and a quarter inch. But now this is better. Next up is finder scope. It's the small tiny scope which we'll plant on top. These are labeled, which is actually nice. And this is the finder scope bracket. Um, the cap for the uh, focuser is here. At least I think this is the cap for the focuser. Not quite sure. And some small tools. Oh, we have another set of instructions here. User guide, astronomical telescope user guide. Let's save these for later. And the tube itself. Wow. Oh, it's actually really, really pretty. Now, the thing I was talking about the dual speed is this. By turning 11 turns on this knob, uh, better yet, 11 turns on this knob equival or are equal to one turn on this one, okay? And that is used to achieve critical focus. Well protected here. So this is the opening. I don't know if it's possible to see the mirror back there. It comes with the, um, the brackets, dovetail bar, and that's it. So, I hope you found you found this uh, informative. Um, leave comments below. Um, give me hints. Uh, ask questions, whatever it is you want to know, I'll be here, you keep watching, and clear and dark skies everybody, thank you. <laughs>